All right, to gain access to the cables, I'm gonna remove this jam clamp. It's clipped into this jam, so we're gonna start by removing these screws all the way down the column. Then from there, the jam will just roll out and unclip itself. You got to make sure that these cables are in alignment with this to be able to fully remove it. At this point, you want to support the room with a jack and a 2x4. Next step is we're going to loosen this interior top cable. And by doing that, I always like to put vice grips on there first to hold it in place. And then you'll use a 3 8 wrench for the cable coupling nut and a 7 16 wrench for the jam nut. And you'll break that loose. Remove the jam nut. And then you can use a ratcheting boxed end wrench to loosen the cable up. With the interior cable loose, you can physically push the room in to slacken the exterior cable. From there, you're going to remove the rubber grommet and disconnect your exterior cable. What I like to do while cutting through cable is I'll put a couple wraps of electrical tape around it because these cables are made up of a bunch of small strands and I wanna do what I can to prevent those strands from flaring out. With a couple wraps of the electrical tape, you can cut through that tape and the tape still holds the cable tight, tightly wound together. From there, we're gonna pull from the kit, the braided sleeve We're going to slide this braided sleeve on the old cable as far as we can go and then we're going to tape the end of it onto the old cable. I'm going to try and do it with as few wraps as possible. Try to keep the electrical tape tightly wound against the braided sleeve and the cable because it's got to be able to fit around all those pulleys. Once it's on the old cable, you're going to take the new cable out of the kit. You're going to slide the new cable into the other side of the braided sleeve. This, the way this sleeve works is kind of like a Chinese finger trap. Whenever you compress the sleeve, it expands. Whenever you pull on the sleeve, it draws, draws tight. Then I like to run my hand from the very top of the sleeve all the way down to the bottom to ensure that that sleeve is tied up against the cable. And then I will tape around the other end. From there I'll hook it to the standoff bracket and in the kit will come another, a new rubber grommet and I'll seat that rubber grommet in place so the cable end doesn't want to pop out of the slot. Now that the cable's taped together outside, we're going to go inside here and grab where the cable's connected to the chain and we're going to pull it straight down. And with some luck, if I did my tape job correctly, we're going to see that cable get pulled through the pulleys. When you start to feel some tension, 
then you give the cable a quick yank and the cable pulls right through. Then you unwrap your tape job. Once you have your braided sleeve removed, you're gonna put the eye bolt in position. Feed it down into the cable connector bracket. You're gonna thread one of the coupler nuts on about an inch. You're gonna seat the nut into the bracket. Then you're gonna take the ferrule. You're gonna run it through, run the cable through one side of the ferrule, through the eye bolt. And then through the other side of the ferrule and pull the cable as tight as you can. Get as much of the slack out of the cable as possible. You want to create a loop about a half inch to an inch in diameter. And then what I like to do is I like to hold that loop into place with a pair of needle nose vice grips. Then from there, we're gonna disconnect the exterior cable to where we can put, bring slack into the column. Okay. Now that the exterior cable is disconnected, we're gonna pull all that slack from the outside in, making it easier to disconnect the eye bolt from the chain connector bracket. With the eye bolt out, we're going to go ahead and crimp the cable into place. These cables are rated for 2,000 pounds. And to keep that integrity, we've got to crimp this ferrule three times. So I start with one crimp on one side, the other crimp on the other side. and then the middle last. From there we'll cut the excess cable off like so and as a courtesy we always tape the ends of the cables so that these strands don't flare out all over the place. Then we'll push some of this slack up and out so we can reconnect this eye bolt. back into the bracket and then we'll reconnect the cable outside again I'm gonna reconnect the exterior cable don't forget your rubber grommet let's seat that into place to keep the cable from popping back out and we're gonna give the room a little tug we're going to take a measurement from the sidewall to the back side of the standoff bracket. Right here it looks to be about 15 and a half inches. And we're going to match that to the bottom. Right here we're about 15 inches. So from here we know we need to tighten that cable up approximately a half inch tighter 
to get the top in alignment with the bottom. Based on our measurements outside, we know we need to tighten this eye bolt another half inch. The way we do that is we'll take a pair of needle nose vice grips, we'll clamp it onto the eye bolt to keep that eye bolt from spinning while we're tightening it. And with our drill and socket combo, we go in here, seat ourselves onto the cable coupler, and tighten it down. Once your measurements match from top to bottom on the outside, what I do is I grab that eye bolt and I pull it out and at this point we're going to put the jam nut on. With the exterior cables adjusted, you're going to line the jam clamp up with the cables, both bottom and top. Then you're going to line this groove of the jam clamp up with the channel of the jam. Like so. Sometimes it, you have to put one hand up high and one hand low for this to roll into place. At this point, we're going to remove our support. To properly adjust the interior cable, we're going to run the room all the way in. And before we tighten up that top cable, we're going to double check the tension of our bottom cable. We want it to be tight and right now it's a little loose. So what we're going to do is we're going to again, always hold on to our cables with a pair of ice grips as we're adjusting them. And we're going to break the jam nut loose. And we're going to tighten the cable coupler nut to remove all the slack of this cable. I'm going to put the jam nut back on. Torque it back down. Move on to our top cable. Again, once it's adjusted, we're going to lock this cable adjustment down with a lock nut. And that's complete. To change the interior top cable, you're going to follow the same procedures as changing the interior bottom cable, but the only difference is the way you crimp the end, and this is the result we're looking for.